My name is Jan Baumgartner. I'm from Switzerland. And for the last four years, we've been working on a film about uh, the, f the work of the forensic scientists mm -hmm. uh, in the Balkan region. And the film is called The DNA of Dignity. So the reason why we chose those topics is there are still 11,000 people missing in, in the Balkan region. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a movie before and we were following a team of, of the miners who removed the explosive from, from, the, from the land. Mm -hmm. um, and we realized that there is much more than just the danger of the explosive in the soil. So we started thinking about this topic and then we realized that people know really little about about the work of the forensic and it's hard to to see what they do because they work in hidden places you don't see it on the street like in everyday life you can't follow what they do and we wanted to make it visible in a way because for many 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 people there is still hope to find at least a few bones of their loved ones and we wanted to show how important the work is and uh, as well how complex it is I learned about it because I, I went there 20 years ago with school. Um, I think there is a lot of lot of those topics are kind of avoided um, by the people there because they're kind of sick of it. They try to to look forward. They try to yeah to see that they can manage that they can leave behind what they experienced and that they can have a better future. But I think what's really important with those also heavy topics is that you can't just uh, you can't just deny what happened so somehow you still live with it you you live with those consequences for your whole life so it's really important i think to deal with it but the way we approached with our movie was we tried to show um that those bones have a certain dignity that those bones have a certain hope um, and that they can bring also in all the bad they can bring something good to the to the people once they know who those people are when missing so what we try to avoid um, to have too many too much emotion in the whole in the whole thing it's for you have to imagine if people in the Balkan region watch that movie most most all of them have uh, their own story connected with it. It's completely different than when you show the movie in Germany or Switzerland. So we we were very aware of that and we tried to make it um, yeah, less stressful in a way. So we chose that fictional uh, story uh, of the mother who kind of uh, represents all those mothers left behind still waiting um, for for the news of, of their loved ones and yeah I think that's that's really important to take the emotional part away and to show her not as a depressed woman more in a in a way a, a woman who still yeah who's just waiting but who also is affected by by all the time she she's she's alone yeah. A lot of people share their story with us. That's, it started already in the process of research. We had to talk to many, many people. Um, on the other hand, we had, whenever we would go to one of those expected mass graves, whenever they start digging up, usually local people from the community would come and, and watch the whole scenery because they always expect maybe their son might be be among those people um, in the mass grave so we were always in touch with those families it was very hard because they, it's never a nice story what what they tell you but somehow we also yeah had had nice times they would bring food to us they would they would support the team the forensics and they would also try to yeah to be part in the in the whole process Uh, the, it was really interesting. Um, it was a completely new world to me as well. Um, those people, they, 
they they do that job for 17 18 years already uh it's it's a lot of pressure on them uh they're exposed to yeah to to those mass graves to do to a lot of sad stories but they're scientists they really they're doctors they know what they do they try to read those bones um they try to read out if there is like if there is a disease if maybe the bone was broken if they had any other injuries um so it was it was for us really interesting to see to get that um sci science view and and to discover the the human body on a on a different way on a scientific way so they there were 40,000 people missing after war they found around 30,000 people um yeah let's let's say there are around 10,000 11,000 people still missing the chances to find them are are very little um you have to imagine that those people were buried in in nature so nature took over that place it's very hard now to to find those places because afterward they used satellite images and and it was kind of easier and now what you need is witnesses so you need people who saw what happened or you need people who committed those crimes who now uh, provide you with those informations and this is very yeah it's hard to find those people who are willing to talk about about their own crimes um so the, the last four years were were uh, very intense um so we will we will not rush we will i will take some time to to figure out we have a lot of things in mind but nothing really uh concrete at the, at the moment